everyone, Christine here, Christine Olivia Photography. Today I am doing a cake smash for a one-year-old. We are doing a winter theme, and my beautiful daughter Adeline decides, out of there, no touch, no touch. She loves to help, she is my special assistant. I am using a cake backdrop, this is a seven by five, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna rewind this video so you can see how I actually set it up yesterday. I always like to set up my sets the night before, so the day of, I'm not stressed or anything like that. So like always, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Cut kiss. Hi. Get cars. Say hi. Hi. Here I am taking down another set. As you can see, it's very easy to switch up sets. I absolutely love using cloth backdrops so I can personalize each photo session. It's totally a huge time saver since you don't have to add props to every single photo session. I, as you can see, use a sunroom for my studio. So as you can see, I'm always having to block out light with curtains or the trifolds that you see hanging up there. Please feel free to comment below with any questions you may have. I've been doing photography for a few years now. I just started doing newborn toddlers as like my main gig, probably beginning of this year of 2022. So I've been absolutely enjoying it and I hope to stick with this niche because I absolutely love it. And you can make each set your own by just adding a few props. Here is the packaging. This is how it comes in the mail. Super easy, super convenient, and this is how I fold them when I put them away. Getting those wrinkles out are so easy. Throw it in the dryer with a damp towel 20 minutes later and ta-da! Patience is key. The littles are gonna wanna move. They're mobile, so you gotta catch them. For every cake smash session I do, I always like to take formal photos first, then I go to the cake. And now it's cake time. I think it's also important to ask the parents when they want us to stop with the cake because just you don't know if this is the first time having sugar, so you don't want to overdo it. And just make sure to be prepared. Make sure you have some towels next to you, some wipes, and an empty trash bag. And that's a wrap. Thanks again for joining in on this video. I'm going to add a few photos from the actual photo shoot at the end. Again, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this, and you'll have an awesome day. Bye now.